and welcome to another show of the Applebone Bites podcast. Today is episode number 45 and we have two amazing special guests here on the show. The first one is our co-host for the last few weeks. It is Alicia O'Regan Casabon. Yes, I uh, practiced that name uh, some few weeks now, so I finally uh, know how to pronounce it. She can be found as Alicia Plans on Instagram, so you should definitely check that out after you watch this video, of course. Welcome, Alicia. How are you? Hi, I'm good today. Doing good. Yeah. Mm. That's great. That's great. It's so great to have you here again uh, because we have a really special guest. Uh, it is the export manager of Aurora. That is Linda Divonzo. Welcome on the show, Linda. How are you, Linda? Super good and happy to be with you today. It's always great to, uh, to have a chat with you. A few weeks ago, you were in Amsterdam. We had a lovely dinner and uh, we discussed some future projects. So, uh, yeah, well, hopefully you can give a little bit of a sneak peek of that as well uh, today. Let's see. Uh, let's see how that goes. Um, before we start the podcast, we always do a pen check. Uh, Alicia, would you like to start with your pen check first? The pen check. Yes. So mine is a pen that I thought I lost and recently found. And it is my mm. Poeco Brass Sport. Um, this pen, I've had this for a really long time. It is really, really used, very aged, and I love this. It's just a nice little pocket it's, pen that can sturdy and can go everywhere. It's always great, you know, when you uh, find some pens back. Where was it eventually? Now I'm really curious. Where did you pl <laughs> put it in the first place? Um, it must have fallen down the back of my desk. I reorganized my office and I found it down behind a little, um, a little set of drawers that I had. So happy to have this back in my collection. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, Linda, which fountain pen are you carrying with you today? More than one, because we have launched many things. Mm -hmm. One of my preferred pens is what is called Duca. Duca mm -hmm. is 925 sterling silver, guilloche, and then inane, and then a procedement called flamme. And this reminds the Italian Baroque of Turin and Italy. The blue is, uh, how can I say, a wonderful blue intense and reminds like uh, a royal pen. It's, it's really beautiful. It's really wonderful. Stunning. Um, so it's a sterling silver with a, with a lacquer on it, right? Yes. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Was this model also not uh, launched in red? Yes. The Regina, what is called Regina. We have launched because, you know, Aurora is red. Red because we present passions and we are Italians. And the first pen we have launched nine for, to celebrate the 100 years history of Aurora was the red version. And now, and we call it Regina, like queen. And now we have launched the, what is called Duca, like Dune. Mm -hmm. And just to show you, we want you to represent like that as a royal thing. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. That is stunning. Um, For anybody who's um who's yeah. listening and not watching, the red one, the Regina, perfectly matches Linda's nails and it is so beautifully yes. satisfying. The secret is is exactly the color. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't know it, Alicia, but red is the favorite color of Linda. But I you might have noticed tell. that. Yeah. <laughs> I have to tell right. you something very funny. When you enter in our company, you know, the entry, the welcome room before was black. And I decided to do black. And Cesare Verona wanted to do white. Let's say in three days was completely red because red is passion. Red is Italy and red is exactly the color of our brand. Red is Linda. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at my pen check because surprisingly, I have also a red pen. It I'm is right. the red mamba uh, in <laughs> red. Uh, this this uh, mamba is, was done in uh, black, blue, and red. I think red is the latest one. Yes. Um, and it's really a beautiful piece. Um, I don't know if you, if the camera catches it, but it has a really nice gilosh on it. Yeah. And uh, what is that? Some kind of alarm? No, because, you know, the company is very big. It's 10,000 square meters company. Oh, it's and five o'clock. Everybody can go home now. Exactly. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. 
I would I should introduce that here in the store as well. You know, when we're yes. closing the store, then it's, it's big alarm that everybody. Uh, when we eat. start, then three thirty for the coffee, ten thirty mm -hmm. and five o'clock when the employees finish their work. Because let me tell you proudly, I can tell that we really make everything in Italy, and we have the ownership of manufacturing here in Torino. It's beautiful. And uh, as you know, uh, we visited the company a few years ago. We made a lovely video about that. Um, you can watch that here. Uh, I will make sure to add a link and then uh, you can watch and see how the Aurora factory looks inside because it's really a wonderful thing. And it's a really special place, especially if you are into writing instruments and you see how everything is made within, or not everything is made within the factory, but most of the parts are made within the factory. Um, even the nip parts are also in the video, so you should definitely check that out. All right, before we move forward with the podcast, uh, we have a question from our uh, previous guest, although it was not really a question for you, Linda. It was uh, Jair Greenberg. He was our guest last year, uh, last week. He's the CEO of Monteverde and uh, Conklin, as you might know. And he just wanted to give you a big hug and say that you're doing Aurora. a wonderful job with Aurora. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, has, uh, he had a lot of lovely words for you. So uh, only good things, only good vibes. Now, but you know that this gentleman was the first distributor of Aurora in America? Yeah, he told me. Yeah, he told me. He was really grateful. He said, without Aurora, there was no Java brands. So he was really... <laughs> uh, really happy with that yeah all right let's talk a little bit more about aurora because last year was a year of the viaggio di Ital di italy do i pronounce it correctly viaggio segreto in italia exactly the secrets of italy in english um and we have seen a lot of uh, beautiful releases but linda which one is your favorite i have to tell you is or let's say what is called volterra volterra let me tell you the concept was the secret trip in Italy, means I wanted to discover and to tell to the international customers and the Italian customer the secret of any city. Matera, the, you know, the water in, in, the, in, the, in the city. Volterra is famous for the alabaster, and this is a band that reminds alabasters. And then we have done other pens like, uh, uh, you know, Baia di Napoli. And then we have done another wonderful, that is Mantova. And the secret of Mantova is that the Lake of Mantova, one month per year, is having the biggest blossoming of, uh, you know, of flowers, of lotus flower after Japan. Wow. The pen now it, are oh, all, yeah. But just to tell you, what is really important is that, you know, Burano, and then we have done Baia di Napoli, mm -hmm. and then we have done Matera and Mantova. But my preferred pen is, Volterra. Volterra is really a super chic pen, rose gold finishing. It's beautiful. And it's really beautiful. We have sold out in, you know, half, half a day. This pen was on my <laughs> wish list and it is one of I have I've said to my my boyfriend several times that unless he can get me one of these, I won't marry him because that's the pen <laughs> I want to sign my marriage certificate, Rick. <laughs> It's just the perfect pen for You make it. it hard for him. Why do you make it so hard for him? Every every girl should get a dream pen instead of a ring, or as well as a ring. <laughs> Why not both? Yeah, sure. Why not both? Um, <laughs> yeah, but I think the Mantova is also a really, really nice one. Super nice. I don't yeah. have Mantova because Mantova now is in the hand of uh, Peter Van Gils, but this was the color, and uh, exactly, and this was the pen. It's beautiful. Such a beautiful color, man. Really beautiful. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Another another pen that released this year, but is part of a of a bigger series, is the Ebonite, the Ebonite yeah. uh, eighty eight. Uh, <laughs> the first release was the was the yellow one, uh, but there are more colors coming up, right, for next year. 
We have launched 288 pieces. We have sold out in one week. It's a wonderful pen. Nowadays is in Amsterdam. And the first one would be yellow. The second one would be blue. And the third mm -hmm. one would be cognac. Brown cognac. It's really nice. And the other two colors are released 2024, right? Exactly. Even if some people, let's say, see in Amsterdam two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, they're really nice. Oh, I, uh, I might there. have some pictures that I <laughs> that I can throw in, um, if Linda allows that. Um, <laughs> but the secrets of Italy is that is that a finished collection now, or are there more uh, pens coming up in 2024? Yes. Okay. The next, let me tell you, another big success was the Internazionale Orange because we have done the first one was blue, sold out. The second black. The third green. And this is the fourth color. It's difficult to see. Yeah, it's really hard to see. But we will do some uh, B-roll on it so with, uh, with some better lightning. But it's really bright orange. It's really nice. And there are a Very lot nice. of gold spots inside, sparkles inside. Yeah. yeah, it's really, really precious. It's really nice. And these yeah. kind of pens write with the different ink, like these pens write with orange or the other one with blue, black, or these, but it's called sepia. So now we would like to put the ink, the same color of the pen to make it more interesting. To match the, uh, to match the pen. Alicia, yeah, do you do that? Do you I, match, I, I do you talked match? about this last week. Ink matching mm -hmm. is one of my favorite hobbies within the fountain pen world, I think. And I, I, the way I describe it to people is so weird. It's like the pen needs to look like it's bleeding. Exactly. You need to, like see the, it needs to match. Like even my my pen today has a brass colored ink in it because it just makes me happier to write with a pen that's what the same ink color. is inside. Um, it's a mix. I mixed a little bit of um K KWZ with um so it's the cappuccino mixed with a little drop of Ferris wheel press steep umber. Oh wow! So you mix your inks yourself. It depends. This one was um I was on the go. And um, I needed to re-ink it and I didn't have the same color. So I <laughs> inked it the messy way. So and it was I, done by accident. It was done by accident. And since then, I have mixed it myself just a little bit with one drop of the Ferris wheel press. And it has to match. Just has to. <laughs> I, I have to say, I always tell my customers when they come in the store that they have to be careful doing that. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's still a chemical reaction. So oh, it yeah. might also screw up your entire feet and yeah you don't want 100%. to do that with... don't do it it's just that you... lazy yeah. life <laughs> <laughs> it's okay we're doing it with a caveco because you can have a have a new nip for rated cheap but please don't do it with an aurora because yeah we have to send the pen to linda and then linda yeah linda gets angry at us so we don't want that <laughs> but a lot of people use aurora ink so of course of know. course of course I really love the love the Aurora Ink collection. Linda, what else can you tell us uh, for the 2024 plans? Wow. I have a lot of ideas. <laughs> the most important one is, you know that uh, we have done Mare d'Italia, then we have done the Oceani, and then last year was a big, big success. We have done uh, the Ambiente. That means uh, you couldn't travel so I created the way to travel. That means with a very light pen or a tundra pen, okay, you close your eyes, you smell about the tundra perfume with Santa Maria Novella, and then you were writing with what is called cappuccino color ink. Now with the same shape, exactly the same shape, that for me is an important shape, one of the best seller of Aurora. I'm going to think about a new project with touch. So the first synesthesia was smell perfume. The second one, Viaggio Segreto in Italia, was the music. 
because inside any box of My Viaggio Segreto in Italia, if you click and download the, the QR code, you can listen the secret of the city. And the mm -hmm. third one is quite difficult, but the sinus thing is of emotion will be the touch. So touching. So the well, next how are you going to integrate that? I cannot tell you it's a secret, but okay. in one month I will launch the pen. And it will be five series for 680 pieces like Ambienti, exactly the same like what I've done. So 680 each for the entire year. And let me tell you, it will be super nice. And I have studied for this project personally since one year. Alicia, what do you think? How can how can Linda do the touch uh, at, oh. at the pen? <laughs> I see. Um, for me, I I love a pen with a tactile feel. So I'm thinking it w it would be very new for Aurora, but I'd be here for it if it was like a sandblasted matte pen. Um, that would be interesting. I I really like a matte pen. So we'll see. Something okay, okay. that has a little bit of a, a touch aspect to it sounds interesting. You will, I you think, will see. We'll I have think to wait that for a in month. this world, yes, in, in, in this world, we have to think always something new because writing is really important, but uh, the idea of the experience of writing is much more important, I think. Mm -hmm. I completely agree with you. Uh, well, our, uh, Linda. I also have some new uh, products that I have to announce because they're new on the applebaum.com website. New products. And the first one is the Kaweco Art Collection. It is unique like art. No two writing instruments in the Kaweco Art Sports series are alike. Uh, something that Aurora is really familiar with. Uh, because in an elaborate process, high quality acrylic rods are cast in outstanding color combinations and structures. This creates unique patterns which make each fountain pen one of a kind. For fascinating color variations, let design enthusiasts and collectors' hearts be faster. On the one hand, cool colors in interplay with silver elements are convincing. The different intensities of the mixed inlays and the highly polished surface create an impressive depth effect, a shimmering texture can be observed in the sunlight, which gives the pebble blue and mineral white fundaments very special elements. On the other hand, the hickory brown and tarozo variants convey a warm appearance in combination with the golden elements, while the dark shimmering brown shade awakens a desire for a bygone era with its nostalgic and simple design. The colorful speckled fundamen enchants with exciting patterns alicia i don't think that i've sent you the pictures yet but um yeah so we can also not discuss I have, it i have actually researched this and i found a picture online of one oh, of wow. them um and it is the one that i want the most and it's the hickory brown um i love it i am obsessed i hope that the leaked picture is really what it is because it's absolutely beautiful absolutely can you describe like stunning. It, the leaked picture um, it's on a white background, Cueco's at a tilt, and mm -hmm. it's like a marbled, brownie, goldy, absolute delightful picture. <laughs> it's really nice. It's really nice indeed. <laughs> it's um, the the hickory brown has this brown with black speckles in it. It's it's a really nice one with gold details. It's 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 just really nice. Um, another. Another model that I would like to introduce is an Otto Hood because Otto Hood did something crazy with their Design 03 collection. It added two amazing new colors to the range, or actually four, because each writing instrument has two colors on it. So as you can see here, we do have the lilac orange and the blue green. And noticeable for these new colors are the anodized lips which we do have here. The mm -hmm. color, uh, the sorry, the anodized nips are in bright lilac and in blue. And the color section is made according to the Magic. current fashion trends and the colorful additions are only available for a limited time. Alicia, what do you think of these two models? I love the blue green. Um, 
think like especially the the colored brass for the pen clip mm-hmm. is absolutely gorgeous the nib is a nice statement piece so i like uh i like it love it but really you know nice. me linda aurora <laughs> did also and uh, did also colored uh nibs right on the chocolato and uh the blue one what's the name of it again terra yes exactly i i don't want to show you but to decide the same this color it took me six different attempt because I wanted, we do two kinds of nibs, bright and matte. This is bright for the terra, all the mm-hmm. trimming is blue. And then we have the matte chocolate where the demonstrator, I hope you can see. Yes, I can see. Such a beautiful okay. pen. It's super nice, this pen. Yeah. But I agree with you. Color is the success uh, for the future. You know, black pants stop anymore. <laughs> when <laughs> when I entered in the company, everything was black, blue, burgundy. They say, no way. Now, if you see my collection just down here, because this is my office, you know, it's colorful, okay. color, 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 color. Life is color. No, I completely agree with you. I completely agree with you. Lots of colors are always good. Uh, are always good. Um, all right, Alicia, do you have a question for Linda? I do, and I think it's going to be a hard one. It is a question I've asked before on it, but I think especially with Aurora's range, the limited editions, and how hard it's going to be to pick, I think it's worth asking again. If you were stranded on a desert island with one pen and one ink, what would they be? A diamond pen. <laughs> we do diamond pen. I have to say. Okay, uh, nobody knows, but for royal families in the Middle East, I have done personally dress with a buyer uh, diamond pens. And let me tell you, it's a masterpiece. It's not a pen. It's a jewel. But apart from the diamond pens, they say this was just. To laugh because it reminds yeah. me of the desert. <laughs> no, I I really like all my babies. One of the baby I really prefer is my tundra. That I really love tundra, but I like my mamba black because it represents me a lot. Because it's the pen that is the iconic pen of Aurora, but with character. With a little bit more power. Uh, yes. Linda, you're talking about the diamond pens. How long does it take uh, to uh, to make such a such a writing instrument? I have to tell you a secret. You know that uh, sometimes they ask us the diamond pen in two weeks is not possible because there is only one person who can encrust diamonds one by one, and not two is not possible. And let's say it depends on the needs, but generally it's three weeks, one month to make one pen. Oh, wow. So Alicia, if, if you, you know, you can still tell your boyfriend that if you want to marry. Listen, you can change yeah. instead of the diamonds, you know, I think that, that that's a bit much. I wouldn't even like, that would never leave the house. That would be in a frame. It would be like in a safe somewhere. But on yeah. that note, how do I get on Linda's Christmas list? Exactly. Now, but you know what I found very nice? I found very nice the fact that on pen that is an object that you use, there are no limits. You can create color, you can create mix of materials, you can create different nibs. There is no limits on pen. You know, is there is the mechanic mechanism of a watch. But you have the creativity that you never imagined. And this is the nice part of the job. Is that the thing which you like the most about your yes. job? Yes. Yeah? Creating. I can imagine that. I can imagine that. All right. Uh, Linda, we're almost running out of time. But uh, yeah. is there something else with you that you would like to uh, share with us for the future? Uh Let's say I want to share something positive. 
I think no, you that only share positive things, right? Always, <laughs> always. No, because during this time, and Alicia is a woman, and she can really understand it. And everybody, uh, in this timing, we are listening only about bad things, like wars, these kind of things, and so on. I really, really believe that sometimes having a rest, stop for a while, and writing positive, super positive, those probably could help the entire world to do something more. I think that's really, really nice set. I completely Couldn't agree, agree more. That. Yeah. Because I think when you write something, it's like living the words, living the energy. And when you use your thumb, you create something like 1,500 synapses. When you write, it's 15,000 synapses. And we are energy why not use this energy to write positive creative and something that we can really change the world i think i think that's a really nice set uh, linda but before we're ending the show uh, i would like you to come up with a question for our next guest so we can start the show with that do you have a question for our next guest well, i'm not going to tell you who's going to be the next guest yet <laughs> After <laughs> after you come come up with a question, I will tell you that. Okay. For how long a refill of a roller can write? <laughs> what? For how long? It's difficult, eh? This is a difficult task, you know. But it's okay. For the next uh, for the next uh, secret uh, guest is. How important is writing in his life? That's a good one. How important is writing in your life? Well, I will tell you who's going to be our next guest because it's Gordon from Lamy. He's uh, also export manager uh, with Lamy. So uh, we're going to ask him uh, how important writing is in his life. And I think it's pretty important because, of course, it's his job. But Listen, if it's Lamy... If he's a guy from Lamy, can answer to my first question, how long a rainfill can last? I tell you. Okay. <laughs> now, Lamy, uh, Lamy, I have to say, is a wonderful, wonderful company. I've been there. I know the mm -hmm. owner. The only, yeah. the only thing that I found very strange, and Alicia, you have to go there and try, is that if you come to Aurora, you listen people who work in Aurora since 10 kilometers far because everybody is screaming we are Italians. If you go to Lamy, it's like a clinic, a spa clinic. No one is talking. It's a silent company. It's, you know, I was there and they was just asking and thinking, are they working? Because everybody was silent. But it's a wonderful company. It definitely is. It definitely is. And I think that that's really a different culture. You know, you definitely see the difference between a German company and an Italian company. It's completely, completely different. different. Yeah. But both are great, of course. All right. Um, thank you so much, uh, Linda, for uh, taking your time and, uh, and joining our show here on the podcast. It was uh, great to chat with thank you. Thank you, Alicia. Again. Thank you. It was great to meet you. Yeah. You Alicia, same? thank you so much. Uh, it was again an honor and uh, next week uh, it will be your last episode with us for now as a co-host Alicia and we will do it all and uh, we will uh, have a special guest because it will be Gordon and it will be a lot of fun uh, we just talk about Lamis and uh, maybe we will refuse some upcoming projects for 2024 as well all right once again Linda thank you Alicia thank you everybody who was watching or listening through Spotify or Apple Podcast thank you so much if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to do that right now. And next week, we have another show. Ciao. <laughs>